Avery Mojica, A V E R Y M O J I C A. Um, I started playing when I was four, but I didn't really know any words and how to spell. But I knew I liked words and numbers and all that stuff. When I was six, I kept playing and I started playing real words. Not really good plays, but they were words nonetheless. When I was 12 this year, I really started studying and I, wanted, I knew, okay, I want to play Scrabble at a competitive level. Can I keep studying and learn more words? So I did. I bought a Scrabble book and everything. and. I would actually just sit down on the couch for my free time and read the dictionary and find weird words. And the way I do it is I just look at the word and try to memorize it. That's just my system. Efren Mojica, E-F-R-E-N, Mojica, M-O-J-I-C-A. I think it's important as a parent to to not necessarily live vicariously through your child, through something that you like, but to understand what their interests are and what their passions are. And I think that's what we found with, with Avery, and I think that's what makes it fun. I like learning things, some things, not like science. That's never been my thing. I like things like numbers and words. Those always seem to fascinate me. And then, um, like, games is also something I've always loved, so board games especially. So. When I found Scrabble, I'm like, oh, okay, I like this. Can I do something good with it? Then when I realized it's like a whole competitive thing, I was like, okay, I might be able to do something good with this. Priorities, he's got balance. I think those are the important things. And you know, we, it's, it's a lifelong activity. It's a lifelong game. And if he wants to do it past high school, past college, even better. So um, yeah, uh, more power to, to him. Probably one of my biggest dreams of Scrabble is to go to the Nationals. That's where every single good person goes, who like know every single word in the lexicon. I really want to go do it that one day, but huge thing for me.